Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Behind the Mic in our beautiful studios here at Music Town on the second floor of Hockey Town, downtown Detroit. And uh, we have this beautiful recording studio where I invite guests in to talk with and hear some live music. So welcome, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. <laughs> Evlo. Oh, yeah, yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. And you've been on the show before, but it's been, well, it was April of 18. Yeah. So it's been a while. It's been quite a while. Yeah. Yes. Some things have happened and whatever, so mm -hmm. we're going to talk about all that. How you, how you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Um, I'm back from school. I um, graduated Michigan State about a month ago, so um, I'm back home for the summer. I'm going to take a gap year before I head back to med school. Um, so it's nice. I get to kind of focus on work and uh, do the music full time, so okay. I can't complain. Things are well. Yeah, med school, I remember you were saying that um, that's got to be, how many more years before you can graduate? Um, I think I can get it done in like three or three and a half, okay. depending on like the the class load. But it's a, it's a doctorate for physical therapy, which is okay. what I want to go for. So um, yeah, there's really no avoiding it. But I'm, I'm excited. I can definitely see myself in the field. And I'm at a great facility in Port Huron right now, um, working with, uh, with great people. So mm -hmm. um, it's something I can definitely see myself doing. Yeah, well, good for you. Good for you. Congratulations. Thank you. I didn't really, when you said med school, you know, people say med school and you think, oh, got another 10 yeah, years. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, no. Oh, trying, oh, to, no. <laughs> trying to get it done as fast as possible, fingers crossed. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, exciting. Good. Congratulations on Thank graduating. You. Thank you. Um, so you have a BS? Yes. Bachelor, Bachelor of Science? Science. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yep. First step, um, yeah, went by quick. So. Four year? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I did a couple years at Community College, um, home in Port Huron, and then I transferred out and did two years at Michigan State. And, uh -huh. um, yeah, everything went well, and I, I just really enjoy it out there. I already miss it. So. <laughs> well, State, good school. Yes, good absolutely. School. Yeah. All right. Go green. There we go. Go white. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, welcome back again. Thank you so much. So, yeah, um, thanks for having me. Yeah, Appreciate Appreciate sure. It. You know, things change, and I mean... Well, first of all, you got a degree now. That's a big thing. Yeah. Um, and I, I like the fact that you're getting a degree, but you're still going to do the music. Mm -hmm. um, you don't ever want to give that up, I'm assuming. No. No, okay. definitely not. Um, music, I mean, it, during high school, I was kind of more of like a, a jock, like sports kid. I really enjoyed sports, and music mm -hmm. was just kind of on the side. And it was at that point where I was kind of... I was struggling a little bit, especially with the guitar. Like, I wasn't where I wanted to be, mm -hmm. and I just didn't have a lot of time to put into it because I was playing three sports and just really involved and enjoyed that. But um, as I got a little older, music kind of started to take a bigger role, and uh, now I'm at the point where I just, yeah, I can't see myself giving it up <laughs> at all. So I'm going to be doing it until uh, until I can anymore. So. Well, and, you know, because of the type of medicine you're going into, physical rehab, mm -hmm. um, you know, you can have – it's not like you're on call all the time, you know, like no. a regular doctor at a hospital that, yeah. you know, so which makes crazy hours, mm -hmm. it seems like. I don't know. Yeah. I, it seems like from watching all the doctor shows on TV. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so you're, you're what you do gives you a little more freedom to do your music. Yeah, it definitely does. I know <laughs> last year I did an internship uh, at the same place, a uh, place called Orthopedic Associates. And uh, the director there, uh, Maureen, who's my boss, she was. Uh, super cool about my schedule because I came in and I already had all these these jobs booked and the hours are are flexible there and it's it's Monday through Friday mm -hmm. so I can still do the music on the weekends Perfect. and she allows me to kind of change my schedule when we have to play and uh, like this past week we had six six shows so I was in one weekend yeah so wow. it was Tuesday thir and then Thursday through Sunday so um, they're super cool about it so like you said it allows me to do both which is okay. awesome we're six shows in in that span is is big. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Yeah, um, yeah. things a couple last minute things came up, and there were a couple private parties. So it was nice. It was a little bit of a kind of a mixture of everything. Mm -hmm. Played a couple bars, a couple private parties, um, and then we had an outdoor venue yesterday, and we had some beautiful weather. It's up in Lakeport, the place is called the Lakeshore Smokehouse. So. Um, when you have you know six gigs, the, the same kind of environment gets a little can get a little old. So it was nice. We were inside, outside, different yeah. times of the night. So now um, Port Huron is the big regatta taking place to Mackinac. Does it? That's um, got to be coming up soon. Or I think it's coming up soon. I know, I know we're gonna be up there. 
um, playing for some sort of boat week, and that might be the Mackinac one that you're talking yeah. about. It's our first time being involved with that. I'll say there's got to be a lot of venues that are doing big parties and everything, mm-hmm. a lot of chances for you to play your music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And we, we've we always been booked on that weekend before, so we've, we've never really had a chance to get up there and experience that. But uh, we got a call this year, and we actually we booked pretty early to play. I think we're playing one of the Friday nights in okay. one of the okay. one of the beer tents. So it should be yeah. should be cool. I've heard a yeah. lot of good stories. Big party up there in Port Huron that that whole yeah. week. <laughs> we're gonna have to bring our best stuff. We're gonna have to be ready to go. Go sailing, yeah. The big that's a, that race has been going on for years and years. Mm-hmm. years a lot of history so, yeah. behind yeah, it. Yeah, a so lot of history. Yeah, it, it should be a good. Time. It's always a, a good party up there. I'm, I'm sure. Boat I've week. Heard, yeah. I've heard stories, so <laughs> <laughs> we're we're gonna have our best stuff ready. That's for sure. After you play, then you can party. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's Friday night, so you don't have to work in the morning. That, oh, that's true. Good point. <laughs> well, good. It sounds like you're really getting out there more with your music and yeah. you know, doing what you need to do and um, you know, playing the different places. And I, and I apologize. I can't remember if you had your EP out yet or it was coming. or. Um, we're, st- we're still working, still working on, on it, it right okay, now. Yeah. yeah, we had um, – the summer got you know busier than expected last year. Uh, we ended up booking quite a few last-minute things, mm-hmm. Todd and I, and – um, with us just both working part-time jobs and doing the music, it just it's kind of tough time-wise to sit down and really record that EP. And we're going to do it through Todd's studio. Todd's okay. into music production right now. Mm-hmm. So um, he's working on a few of his own you know, songs and stuff, especially with me being away at school. It's kind of tough for both of us to yeah. yeah. um, kind of share ideas. But now that I'm taking a gap year, um, Todd's, Todd will be home for a little while longer, I think. Um, we should have a good chance to get that done and hopefully get that out there soon okay yeah and todd and you um as the revivers yes okay Mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah. awesome all right um how about we hear a song yeah absolutely what you got for us so actually played this song last year but i made a few few revisions to it um wrote this probably a couple years ago Um, this one's called The Stranger. All right. I never thought it'd be over. I never see the light I never said it was meant to be But if so, that didn't make it right So you stand before me My hands fall to my sides Bow my head and before I pray I wait to close my eyes It's there I see stranger the ghost that I cannot hear he poses no present danger but he knows all about my fears yeah. I never feared the bad times everything good is gold But sometimes gold is grabbed by a fool Who thinks his ways will never get old And I can walk the back roads In need of no help But can I walk on my own true path And see you on yours with someone else It's there I see the stranger The ghost that I cannot hear poses no present danger but he knows all about my fears
calling to me. Yeah. And it feels, and it feels like the breeze is blowing my way. Do you find yourself taking your songs, you know, that you've already, you know, the, the song is done, I, you know, this is how I play it, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. Do you find yourself going back and changing a lot of those like um, you did with this one? With that one I did, I, not too much, to be honest with you. There is one that we made as high schoolers when we were in, I think, 11th or 12th grade. Um, Todd and I uh, co-wrote that song, and it's called Exchange, and um, we got a lot of positive feedback about that song. Um, and there's there's been a lot of uh, kind of talk about redoing that one. Mm -hmm. um, I think I could probably write a little bit better vocals. Um, you know, I think 22 year old me might have some <laughs> better ideas than 17 year old me. Um, but like that's one of the songs where just the music and the backbeat that Todd put to it is is awesome. Um, so I. I definitely would like to redo that one, and I know Todd thinks the same way. Uh, we've talked about maybe adding a few different instruments mm -hmm. in there. Um, but for the most part, not not really. Ones okay. that I wrote, you know, there's still a couple songs that I wrote uh, maybe ninth or 10th grade that I still look at, and I say, oh, you know, I don't know what else I would do to that song, you know? Yeah. Um, and it all comes based off experiences, um, what you're going through at that time in life. So... Um, I think some of those songs are kind of meant meant to be the way they are, mm -hmm. not to be changed. So, yeah. And sometimes, you know, artists will say, you know, done is better than perfect. Yeah. And if you change those, especially things you you wrote when you were in tenth or eleventh grade, uh, seventeen years old, whatever. Yeah. You know that when you look back on that song, that it really shows what your mindset was at that point. You know, and you know what your skills were at that point. So. I don't know. It seemed to me. It seems like you know why change it, but yeah. No, I, I agree with you. you know? I agree with you. I mean, um, or you know, when you hear uh, something that you've done in the past, you know, um, you know, maybe spark a whole new song. Yeah, you know, that seems kind of makes a lot of sense too. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Maybe play off that song and yeah. um, kind of use it in the next one. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I there's several artists that you know they say once it's done, it's done. Yeah. You know, move on because there's always more to come out of me and you know, I've got more ideas or whatever and work on that but I don't know each artist is different so and not me to say yeah but, you know. to each his own no I, I agree with you though I, and, I'm, and I'm, as I'm listening to myself I'm going it sounds like I'm telling you to not do that no 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 <laughs> <laughs> no I, I understand though I understand what you mean oh you're funny um I was looking back you know and it, um just kind of was scrolling through some of the posts from the last time you heard back in yeah April of 18 and it was funny, one of the posts, and of course, Todd's not here today, mm -hmm. but um, Randy said that Todd looks like a young James yeah, Taylor. Yeah, young James Taylor. And um, yep. it was like, who's, and he puts, you know, obviously he didn't know who he was, it's mm -hmm. the long-haired guy. Yeah. Was like Todd. And I wish he was here when I was going to, you know, when I, and I didn't think of that. I was like, oh my gosh, um, you know, if James Taylor puts out a you know, a movie about himself, you know, Todd could be it. You know? we'll, we'll cast Todd for that part. I'll get him. No, I, I did see that comment and I'm pretty sure I told Todd about it and he goes, yeah, I, I kind of do, I guess. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And that, yeah, I went back and I actually watched a few of like the, the young James Taylor, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. some of his like acoustic sets and yeah, Todd, Todd does resemble him a little bit there. <laughs> um, how long have the Revivers been together? I just can't remember. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. We started when we were, 13 um it was okay todd myself um and john witherspoon our friend was on bass and then uh we ended up adding you know a couple drummers mm -hmm. uh, mitch moore trevor Holowaty, uh max dawes we went along through high school so it's been since you know 13 and yeah. we were kind of like a summer only thing during high school um just because we were all playing sports mm -hmm. and stuff but after high school todd and i kind of got the acoustic duo going pretty steady especially with um he was home and i was going to sc4 at the time so todd and i have been doing the acoustic duo thing pretty religious for i would say five or six years now 
So cool. it's been been quite a while. Yeah. So. Well, good for you guys. And, and again, looking for that EP to come out. Yes, <laughs> yes, and we'll, we'll let you know. I'm I'm hoping we can have that done uh, yeah. by this summer. We're we're super busy um, just with with gigs, which that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Can't that's money in your about. pocket. Absolutely. That's you know, important. That's, that's how, how we're going to fund it, <laughs> you know, in the end. But yes. Um, yeah, I'll definitely let you know. I'm looking forward to just having some time to kind of relax and not think about school for a minute. And yeah. Really. Because really. you have you, to be you, in the you mood You got to that. that. You've got the degree now and, you know, just take a breather. Take and, a minute, yeah. relax. And yeah, especially for songwriting, I just, you can't, you can't rush it. You have to be in the mindset. Um, and yeah. Todd and I have had a lot of songwriting sessions over the over the years and it's you know it's never rushing it's usually just we're in somebody's basement two guitars and mm-hmm. a sheet of paper and we just take our time if it's done in an hour it's done in an hour and if you know it takes two three days to to complete then that's what it takes so uh, I think this summer is the the time to do it though so are you um booked up for summer festivals which are huge around here um we have we have a few um, we I'm trying to think, we tried to do a little bit of like a, just a different, different booking than last year. We loaded up pretty heavy last year, just as far as bars went. Mm-hmm. So we were probably Thursday through Sunday, pretty much every week. Um, now we're getting into a few more of like yacht clubs and a few more outdoor like restaurants where a lot of boaters come through. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going a little bit farther North than we're used to. We've been up in Lexington a lot. Okay. Um, and then we've been down in kind of the Algonac, New Baltimore area, um, so trying to expand our range a little bit, mm-hmm. but, um, yeah, we, we booked up, we booked up pretty early this year. So I think we started booking in probably March and, you know, we got maybe, maybe a couple Saturdays left out of the entire summer, but other than that, uh, you know, we got them all marked down. So well, we're going to be busy. Well, you got to have a life too. No, you know? yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I, we don't consider it work. That's the thing. It's oh, just, okay. we have okay. a good time. Good, it's, good. um, you know, it's something we, uh, we both look forward to. And, uh, I don't know, the, the six gigs a week are a little, little tough on yeah, the, the voice yeah. but um you know that's that's how you know you enjoy doing it. as we we walked out yesterday with you know with smiles on our faces and we were like yeah we, we got through it that was actually pretty fun <laughs> so um yeah it, it went well and we enjoy it so yeah it's always that you know just you know you got to do something you know it's like just to get there kind mm-hmm. of you know it's like but once you're there it's like this is cool yeah, yeah. I, I was yeah. looking at it from well last friday i was mm-hmm. i finished work and I was checking the calendar, and Todd texted me, and he was, you ready for next week? And I, I looked, and I already had, you know, a full work schedule at um, Orthopedic Associates, and I looked, and all those gigs, you know, we had like a Tuesday, and then the Thursday through the weekend, I went, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. Um, yeah, no, it, yeah. it went smooth, though, and that's really the only busy weekend that we have like that. I try not to do that too much, because it's it is a lot. No, it's hard I mean, on your voice. Hard on the voice, yeah. yeah. And um, like this next coming week, we only have like a Saturday, Sunday spot, so we mm-hmm. get to rest for the week, which is nice. Um, we got a big show at the River Crab coming up on the 19th, which is a Wednesday night. They have uh, like a summer deck night um, event we've been doing for the past couple of years. So nice. uh, we have some time to kind of prepare for the well, next Well, and you need you need that time off to write those songs, too. You know? Well, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, uh, you mentioned, you know, the voice, your voice. So I want to talk about the voice mm-hmm. that you were a contestant on. Yeah. When was that now? The uh, um, That was... Well, they just finished up the show, but you do a lot of the... The whole the thing beginning started... beginning is early. Last, uh, probably early June. June. So, yeah, oh, okay. Last summer. It was a long, long Because it's all um, recorded mm-hmm. until they get to the cross battles, so, yeah. which was new this year. So, Okay. So did they invite you, or did you contact them? So they um, they ended up finding me, and I think they found me on Instagram. Okay. They don't they didn't really say, but I was um, it was before a show one day, and I was just kind of hanging around, and all of a sudden I I get this call, and it's one of the the casting producers, and um, they <clears throat> were talking. I guess I mean I post stuff on Instagram once in a while, just when I'm when I'm away at school during the year, mm-hmm. kind of keep me on my toes. I'll record songs of just me kind of jamming on my guitar and stuff. And I think that's they stumbled upon that somehow, and they invited me to Chicago to do like a private audition, I guess. And I I had no knowledge of how any of that worked at the time okay. because it's never been <laughs> in my well, this is brand new in my mind. Yeah, it was totally new. So I went, oh, well, you know, I'm not sure. We had Friday, Saturday, Sunday gigs and I at first I told them no because they wanted me to come on Sunday and I said I I can't, you know, we have to play and 
they said, oh, well, what about Monday? And I'm thinking, oh, can I do this? Mm. And um, so I kind of talked over with my parents. And they're like, yeah, you got you to gotta at least go. You know, they invited you. So um, played the whole weekend, packed up Sunday after the gig, and to Chicago we went, and that's, uh, that's where the whole thing started. Interesting. So. Well, the first thought is there's, I want to say millions maybe, yeah. on, on all those social medias. Like, how did they I know. You know, find somebody. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And especially with how big it's gotten yes. you know, just in the past few, I'd say, you know, three, four years. Right. It's just, and I, I skim through that once in a while. I follow a lot of music pages on there and there's just loads of talented, oh, yeah. talented people just filming stuff from their room or their, you know, home studio in their basement. And it's all just high quality stuff so they must have a full-time staff just doing that i i would think so and yes. when i when i got out there you realize how many people they have working for them uh-huh. in so many different departments so okay. um i don't know how many like casting how big the casting crew is but uh like you said i'm sure there's people that kind of mm-hmm. they designate to kind of search the web and kind of pick the talent that they want to see so how many other people were there when you were of course you didn't go sunday when there were probably other no. people there so was it just you so um sunday saturday and sunday they held like the the kind of stadium auditions i oh, guess okay. it's like the ones you see on tv where they're all sitting in like a big convention yeah. center and they allowed me to skip past that so when i went mine i kind of jumped into the second round oh, okay. okay so i was auditioning with the people who got yeses on the the saturday and sunday mm-hmm. before gotcha so it was in uh, in a studio downtown, like a discreet location. Of course. Um, and you walk up to it, and uh, there's no there's no sign of like anything going on there. No, no V, you know, logo. No, no. Yeah. And I I walk in, and um, there there weren't too many people. They kind of file it through, so you get a little bit of time by yourself to kind of prepare nice. and practice a little bit before. Um, and they they treat you really good. Just that whole staff that they mm-hmm. had were real nice, and especially me, who's walking in there not knowing anything yeah. about how yeah. it works. Um, but I, I couldn't tell you how many people they filed through that day. And it was the last kind of audition for that city. Um, so Chicago, they had, I can't remember how many audition cities they had. I think it was four or five across the country and they take so many contestants from each city. Right. So I honestly couldn't tell you how many people I auditioned with, but there were probably a good 10, 15 people in like the waiting room and you just kind of filed in one by one. Yeah. Um, and at this point, you're not in front of the actual judges that are on the show. No, no, yeah. this is... Uh, I didn't think so. This <laughs> is the early part, and I yeah. didn't realize... Another thing I didn't realize is how many steps it takes to actually get there. Okay. You know, I was thinking, okay, you know, maybe I'll get a yes, and, you know, I'll go out... Next thing you know, you're on the show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah next no. thing I know, and it was like, no, okay. <laughs> that's not how So it what works. were the steps? What, how did so, that work? Um, first was the, the stadium auditions, and mm-hmm. then you could get a yes there, and you came to mm-hmm. what they called like the callbacks, the first round of callbacks. So mm-hmm. that was the one that I started in. And then if they saw you fit, you'd get, you know, they'd interview you a little bit more, kind of get more of your backstory. And then they'd send you home, and then it's Hollywood, go out there and audition. Um, and if you get through that round, then you compete. I think they take 100, 100 audition for the judges, and then the judges pick 60 for their team so okay. it's re- it's really like four or five steps to get out there so when i walked in i was like i i guess i just got to keep keep getting yeses i don't know what's <laughs> at what stage i'll get up yeah, there and yeah. if i will huh. um but yeah it's it's just a big process and i i got to experience it firsthand once i got out to mm-hmm. hollywood how that actually works and there's just so many little pieces that go into making that did you have to pay for your own weight out there and no oh, really? which was nice, nice. Yeah. um so after after Chicago, I went home and they put me on hold for a little while while they were getting everything together and kind of analyzing all the contestants uh-huh. um, as far as who who they wanted to choose. So um, it's like July and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, oh, I'm, I'm not going to get the call, <laughs> you know, and I, I was fine with it at that point in time. So yeah, I did my best and I got school coming up, which I, I was going to go back in late August to start my senior year. I already had classes and house paid for and stuff. So I go, OK, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, and then I got a call like first week of August and they said, Hey, you know, we filtered out, um, the, the casting semifinals is what they called it. And they gave me an email and it was like, when can you fly out? When can you get here? And, um, they paid my way out there, which was 
Not super that nice, sweet. especially Hell after yes. dropping a down payment on college and a house yes. and stuff. I was like, wow, uh, thank you. That's great. Um, and they, they paid to, you know, like your hotel and they fed you out there. Like I said, they were just, uh, the staff out there was just awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they, uh, that whole trip was quite an experience. I just can imagine. me getting out there. Oh my Lord. <laughs> took me, uh, took me a little bit to, uh, to, to get out to there. Fly? Why? So, uh, I got the email and in bright bold letters on the bottom it goes do not miss your flight oh getting out there um, because <clears throat> they're on a set schedule and right. they have certain right. people that Makes have sense. to audition so uh I, we get up super early i think my flight was like at 8 a.m or something out of metro and mm. i had to go to i think it was dallas and then I, and then i would go to la okay. so i would get there with enough time left um, I can't remember what time LA time I'd get there, but I would have most of the day to kind of get used to the time change and mm-hmm. get my songs ready. And we're on the road Monday morning and super early, you know, we got a lot of time left. And all of a sudden we get probably half hour from the airport and it's just stop and go Uh-oh. traffic Uh-oh. for no reason. <laughs> so I'm there with my parents are driving me to the airport and they're, oh boy. they're like, I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. So half hour turns into like an hour and a half and nobody knows what's going on and you know my parents are trying to like ring all these like traffic services and a few of them aren't open and it comes close to the time where like I might not be getting on this plane oh boy yeah and so it turns out the accident was I guess a semi went under an overpass and the the uh like the trailer was too big yes okay now I remember oh I know what you're talking about yeah yeah, and he ended up just taking that out and (laughs) long story short I end up missing the flight out there. Oh, no. So I had to call and get a new flight. Um, and I'm not realizing I'm calling these people at, like, 7 a.m. Yeah. my time. I'm waking these people up at, like, 4. four o'clock. Yeah. And mm. I, someone answers the phone, and they don't sound like they're up. And I go, oh, boy, I feel bad about this. Mm. And a um, little nervous at first because I didn't know what they were going to do. But uh, they ended up, you know, getting me a new flight, and they were real cool about it. So just that whole travel well, that's day. That's good on, to know that yeah. they were – they were cool about it, yeah. yeah I, was ner- I was nervous. They could have said, you're done. Yeah, you I was know? like, yeah, oh, I broke the main rule first day. <laughs> and thank you. Okay, but um, you got out there, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got out there, and um, I'm trying to think. Probably 6 or 7 o'clock L.A. time, mm-hmm. and that's uh first time I traveled by myself, first time I've flown by myself, and uh, the first time I've experienced that, that L.A. traffic out there. Oh, that was, yes. That was uh, quite an eye opener. <laughs> that was, uh, that's always a, an experience. Yeah. Yes, I know. It definitely was. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, it took me, it took me a little while to get to that, <laughs> that hotel. I'm like, yeah, this is, uh, this is LA. All right. So the next morning you have your audition and you've yeah. got, you know, you, the, you file in and you, do they, so how many judges are you singing in front of at this point? So, um, so Chicago was like, there were three. Okay. So. One was like the head of the whole casting department, which I didn't know at the time, and then two associates, and they had people in the back running your sound and mm-hmm. video and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And in LA, it's just a, it's a different kind of setup. So now you're you're in front of like the executives, okay. producers who aren't there until that step. Right. You know, right, you right. kind of go to them, um, and it was kind of like a like a coffee house atmosphere, like mm-hmm. um, a lot of couches and tables. It was real. Like oh, more laid back. Yeah, laid back. more okay. laid back and chill. They're trying to make you feel more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And at okay. that point, I definitely needed it. Um, <laughs> yes, because for you, sure. Because you got there, and um, and this time there's a lot more people with you, so you're in a waiting room of there were probably 30 people in there. Okay. And yeah. um, so that was kind of the group that I got to know when mm-hmm. I got out there. I'd stayed at the hotel with them, and we kind of exchanged social media stuff yeah. like that. So we all follow each other now, which is cool. But it was th- that whole group, and. I would say there's probably 25, 30 people in that room okay. when you're up there playing, and you can't really see any of them, which is the tough part. So you're, <laughs> yeah. getting, you're trying to pick out, oh, are the well, judges? Well, yeah, they put bright lights on you for a reason. Yeah, yeah. You're, I'm looking around, like, are, are the judges out there somewhere? Yeah. And, you yeah. know, you, you can't see. So at that point, you just got to get up there yeah. and um, and do your best. And it just that the atmosphere was just totally different for me, though, because you come from playing, you know, private parties mm-hmm. or bars. There's just... There's always some type of noise going a new on experience in the background. For you. Yeah, it's Good definitely for you. a new experience. So, um, I I learned a lot from it. Um, I'm definitely glad it happened. I wasn't expecting it to happen, but um, I'm 
already ready to go back, so I'm making my preparations for okay, that. Okay, so you said they did. Okay, so you didn't get on the show. You no, I was from the blind. You didn't get picked. I was no, I was one step short okay. of getting on the show. Bummer. Yeah, I know, bummer. But <laughs> at but the you, same time, I was starting to get a little nervous with the whole oh, schooling situation and yeah, stuff because yeah. I would have had to go out there and stay there for. Right. A, oh yeah, it's know, a long process. A few months yeah. at a time. Yes. And at that point, I was like, nah, I just, you know, both of my feet weren't in the door at that yeah. point just because of school so i think this coming year would be yeah, a better well let's time explain that they did invite you back yeah okay. yep so i'm i'm gonna gonna head back here i'm thinking october is the next uh okay. season that they want to see me in because they like to give people a little bit of time to regroup mm -hmm. um get a little bit more experience and stuff so i'm i'm working on that definitely okay. putting more work into my my solo stuff and um just trying to find songs that that fit my voice, which that was something that I really learned a lot from um, just being out there. There's yeah. a lot of vocal coaches and people who will work with you behind the scenes. and um, at, Even at the stage you were at, did you have vocal coaches? Yeah, I, oh, still, okay. I still had people, like they oh, weren't they weren't coaching you one-on-one, -on -one, but I still had people that were tossing suggestions by oh, me. So okay. I, I'd come to okay. them with certain songs and huh. they'd give me, you know, honest feedback. If, if they didn't see, <laughs> if they didn't see a fit, they'd say, hey, give it you? to me now before yeah. I get to the, you know, in yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which, yeah. which was nice because you think at that stage, they've heard so many millions oh, yeah. of voices over the past 17, 18 years. So, yeah. um, you definitely take what they have to say and, um, learn from For it. Sure. So, um, they do give you a lot of help though. I mean, you kind of feel like you're know. on your own going in there, yeah. um, with all those other contestants, <laughs> but they, uh, they offer you a lot of help. So oh, that's good. Well, good, good luck people. to the next level or next going back again. Yeah, exciting thank you. that they did invite you back. Yes, and, absolutely. Uh, Very um, do you have to go to the the first step or do you jump ahead at this point? I don't honestly know. Oh, okay. Where, um, well, this, we'll just wait and see. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait and see. Um, I'm gonna try to hopefully kind of start like I did last time. Mm -hmm. Maybe get one of those private callbacks and see if I can. Um, Show them that I've grown a little bit. Okay. okay. Um, that's what I'm well, hoping for. Good luck for. with that. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I maybe appreciate we'll it. We'll see you on the next season. You know? I'm certainly hoping so. <laughs> All right. We need a song. Okay. Awesome. What you got for us? All right. So this one is called Together. And I kind of wrote this about um, just that whole experience being out there, mm. um, mm -hmm. doing things on your own, maybe being a little nervous um, about how everything's going to turn out. But in the end, one thing that I had was all the people back home uh, from my hometown. Uh, St. Clair kind of get behind me. I had my friends, my family, parents, stuff like that. Um, I had those people kind of keeping me together during the that. entire you process. You need that support group. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So I got, got back from um, L.A. and I was kind of just putting all this, you know, all those experiences into my head and mm -hmm. trying to make sense of it all. And <laughs> uh, I figured, yeah, what better what better thing to do than, uh, than write a song? So Perfect. <laughs> um, this song's called Together. Okay. in me yeah. Can I stand How much have I grown We'll just have to see too far and I don't know I won't pass under the bar I have hope left to bring I have songs left to sing and it's all for the people who keep me together stayed for the 
the show Is there something to fear? Yeah. Hear me out I can't do this on my own If my mind isn't clear Then the end could be near too far and I don't know I won't pass under the bar I have hope left to bring I have songs left to sing and it's all for the people who keep me together keep me together show that they care and they push you along keeping you strong together it's true they'll be there for you they're the ones the ones who keep us together who keep us together who keep us together us together Absolutely. I'm going to do the Pam's Ann. I know we did this last time, but I took the questions out. Oh, that, round two. Uh, you did. You took out the questions. I last did, time. yes. Yeah. No sense asking the same thing because there's plenty of questions in here. Yes, mm -hmm. perfect. Uh, any special holiday traditions? Holiday traditions. <clears throat> hmm. Definitely the holidays always revo uh, revolve Excuse me, around being at my grandma's house. Mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of a special tradition, especially with being away at school it's a different experience to come home and you you definitely appreciate yeah. everything a whole lot more seeing yeah. all the cousins and family and stuff i remember so. when i was away at school it's like getting home and you know visiting the the extended family was always i know a riot you absolutely know, just <laughs> yeah you think when you're out there yeah this is cool i'm out on my own and yeah you, yeah you know, no then, you need that no, well you as your family. song just explain you need the family and absolutely yeah uh the biggest obstacle in the music industry today is Oh, wow. That's an interesting one. Oh, I don't know. I feel like it's not really an obstacle, but I think social media has just opened up the music business so much. Uh -huh. It's, um, I think if anything, it's just become more difficult to maybe get noticed because there's just so many talented people that now have a platform to make a youtube channel or make an instagram account right, and you know right. share themselves out there so i think the the competition is just so so wide you know if you uh <clears throat> i go on instagram and you search a certain song um you know you may see the artist's name come up or youtube is what i'm thinking about mm -hmm. but underneath you know the second highest view may be someone's cover that they filmed you know in a studio or something so yeah um there's a lot of ways to get recognized and if you can put something together that's kind of unique um, either your own stuff or you you put a good spin on a cover song um, you can definitely get a lot of views and um, like I said especially with being on the voice there's just you see all this this talent that you know being from a place like Michigan you you know I hadn't heard of any of these people before mm -hmm. when I got out there and then you you see their accounts and their following and it's like wow you know I'm yeah. proud to be a part of you know <laughs> so many just there's just so many talented it, people that so. is a that is a big thing for musicians how to get noticed yeah how to be found mm -hmm. you know kind of thing which is why as I said earlier it's like well how did they find you yeah you know, I know. that just blows me away it's mm -hmm. like, you know that's that it would be that's a that's like a full-time job for musicians is the social media yeah you know you've got to be able to get your music out there and be found so mm -hmm. that's yeah. a free way to that's, do it that so. is, well yeah that's the problem it's free and so there's so many I know um Best advice ever given to you? Oh, boy. Um, 
Best advice. Well, if, if we're talking music, I would probably say, um, coming from my dad, uh, just advising me to, to stick with it. Because mm-hmm. um, there was, like I said, there was that point where I just, guitar was just giving me giving me a hard time, and I was just <laughs> getting frustrated with everything. And I was mm-hmm. like, you know, maybe maybe this is just kind of a something to do around the campfire. And um, my dad was kind of always in my ear, and he was like, just don't don't give it up don't mm-hmm. don't stop playing you know it's just keep it going because it's going to pay off and that he'd always put it that way he'd say trust me it's going to pay off once you put your years in um and he ended up being right and yeah. uh yeah I have, I have him to thank <laughs> a lot for all of this because he's kind of the he's the the person that i grew up i mean listening to music from mm-hmm. um and he played in a band for a while um had his own group so i was always around that as a yeah, young kid that and makes a, a difference a lot of my influences definitely come from yeah. him too so I, yeah i would definitely say dad's advice uh definitely paid off i'm glad <laughs> i took it thanks dad right yes absolutely yes. i wish i could blank Ooh, i wish i could blank <laughs> wow that's a that's a broad question mm-hmm. hmm. huh. top of your head i wish i could didn't mean to stump you. Yeah, <laughs> you're definitely stumping me. Um, These are random, just off the I top wish, of your head okay, I wish I didn't have to go back to school. We'll put it that oh, way. Oh, okay. okay. You know, I could just, uh, I'm, I'm getting used to this, working and doing the gig mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. gig stuff, and it's it's been great so far, and it's I know going back is going to create an obstacle just as far as the music goes. So um, I, I wish I could have graduated in oh, four okay. and just got mm-hmm. right into it. So. I would say that. Got to pay your dues there. Yeah, you got to pay your dues. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So if time and money didn't matter, what would you be doing? Time and money didn't matter. I would probably be doing this still. Okay. Still still playing music because it's just something I can enjoy. And um, just like the, the physical therapy career, I can see myself doing it for a really long time. And I... You know, we play a lot, but like I said, I don't I don't consider it work. I mean, mm-hmm. it's a it's a good time. I get to play music with you know my best yeah. friend, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, mm. what do you think of when you hear the word success? Hmm. <laughs> success. I I just think of a lot of kind of motivational individuals that I guess I looked up to mm-hmm. or look up to um, people who just work extremely hard, whether they're you know regular everyday people or people on social media, just people who give out a lot of positive advice kind of motivate you because that's what I look to um, when I need motivation to maybe get through the day or write a song or um, get a workout done or something like that. I'll watch you know videos of um, certain speakers or just motivational uh, people in general. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what I, I definitely look to them and it kind of inspires me. Uh, to pursue we all need a little inspiration yeah absolutely especially if you're you know constantly pursuing success which we all are so (laughs) we all are yes (laughs) lions tigers pistons or red wings oh i would have to say tigers okay tigers of um my family has a lot of baseball roots uh just from playing as kids Uh, we went to quite a few tigers games haven't been to any in a while i'm gonna need to get down to the ballpark Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. just with school and everything but yeah baseball uh, has a lot of roots in my family and a lot of ball players so a lot of good times and um always always big tigers did you play baseball in high school you said you did a lot of sports yeah yeah i played football basketball and baseball in Mm -hmm. high school but hit them all yeah (laughs) the trifecta (laughs) yeah it's tough to choose between detroit i mean detroit sports in general oh yeah always always a fan all right uh quirk or pet peeve pet peeve Oh, I would have to say slow drivers <laughs> on the expressway. I would have to say, like coming, <laughs> especially coming down today. It's good because it was the rain, but mm-hmm. I don't know so, something about it. Like if you go Get that, out of my way, if you, you go that far under the speed limit, it's like you know. I, I'm not talking about people doing the speed limit because I try to try to follow the rules there, but it's like people are just kind of going on like their Sunday cruise, and I got places in to be. In the fast lane? Yeah, in the fast lane. It's like, all right. Get the hell We got to change some things here. <laughs> I got to get around you. Do you have a crazy fan experience? Crazy fan experience? Hmm. Um, are you talking like when we're playing? Yeah, of course. Well, 
or not? Not, not really. Um, we have had a few. Uh, some I can't share. <laughs> just <laughs> just some interesting situations we get in um, okay. dur- during the bars and stuff. But um, I, not, re- not really anything too crazy. Okay, well, um, that's good. We've had a lot of... Uh, some interesting dance crowds. I'll put it that way. Just a lot of people like um, dancing crazy kind of. Thing? Yeah, kind of, I mean, might get a little crazy. Yeah, especially if they've <laughs> they've had a few drinks and whatnot. But uh, <laughs> hey, we love but it. But that means they're enjoying your music. They're yeah. having fun, and so let them go. Oh yeah, let uh, loose. I do. That's what we we love. <laughs> Definitely gets the adrenaline. Does that going. distract you when you're playing? Or they're um, getting kind of. It depends what they're doing. Oh, honestly, okay. like I remember <laughs> if they're if they're just you know have no cares in the world, like I might crack a smile. It's hard mm-hmm. not to. You, yeah, you see people yeah. enjoying themselves and stuff like that. Um, I try not to pay attention to it too much, just because I'll end up, you know, cracking a laugh or something like that. And I'm trying to be professional <laughs> up there, but. Um, we well, always, they can relate if you're personal. You know, you you, yeah, you have that's, a sense you, of humor and everything. Yeah, so then that makes thing. you more relatable. Mm-hmm. No, we try to interact with them. Like they're they're mm-hmm. always usually you'll get them to dance for a couple songs and they'll be they'll be right up in front of you and they'll be asking you know requesting songs or something like that. And um, we we have a lot of great people in terms of crowd back um, where we're from St. Clair and stuff. So. Um, they're always really, always really good, and if you play them the right stuff, they'll get up there and dance. Yeah. I, I think it was well, it was Saturday. We uh, we had a dance crowd for probably hour, hour and a half, just straight, straight dance stuff. So um, it's always a good time. I love when people enjoy it because it's it's a way to connect with them, like you said. Well, and the bar owners like that because they're getting yeah. hot and sweaty, and they need to drink <laughs> some more beer. Head and on over so to the bar. So that's why you keep getting booked because yeah. <laughs> because that's the bottom line. How much liquor are we selling yes. tonight? You know? Head on over to the bar, and we'll play a slow <laughs> dance tune, and we'll get you back out here in one. There, yeah, so, yeah. So <laughs> Go grab a drink. <laughs> if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Ooh, superpower. I would probably say super strength. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty into the whole Marvel deal, and I've always <laughs> my favorite superheroes have kind of been Captain America, the Hulk, Thor, all yeah. these these big, strong okay. kind of <laughs> kind of heroes. So um, I would probably say say uh, super strength, but okay. flying would be pretty cool too. Yeah, that would be cool. Maybe make getting to gigs a little easier, <laughs> a little faster. <laughs> No, that that amp and guitar will weigh you down. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, we may have to may have to hire someone to drive that. Yeah, while there you I go. Fly. <laughs> yeah, that won't work. I'd like to teleport somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd say so you, you said you're going to do a couple songs, so you, you're good on that, or yeah. Okay, so I wanted to um, make sure everyone knows um, where to find you. Yes. That uh, you know you've got a lot of gigs. It sounds like and mm-hmm. things coming up. So yeah best place that people can uh, find you and get your music um i would definitely say facebook head on over to our facebook page it's the revivers um you'll see our our logo and a picture of us uh it'll be todd and i um and you'll be able to see our entire schedule we post week by week Mm -hmm. uh, where we're at time slots location stuff like that so i think keeping everyone up to date especially at this day and age is is important oh yeah um and it's you know, we get a lot of people who say, hey, I, I never would have known you guys were here if you wouldn't have put it on Facebook and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So that's where we run most of it out of. So okay. um, if you're interested, um, if you're around the, the Port Huron, Lexington area, um, we're we're always up there. Yeah, that's where you do most of your um, playing. Yeah, most of it. I'd say, I mean, St. Clair, the hometown, obviously. Mm-hmm. But um, Lexington and Port Huron, yeah, those have become big spots we're for us. We're talking the thumb here. In we're Michigan. talking the <laughs> thumb, yeah. Should have specified. Um, but, yeah, if... Uh, if you're ever looking for something to do, you know, there's a lot of uh, different types of venues, too. I mean, the bars, we got a couple outdoor venues, really nice if you're just looking to relax a little bit mm-hmm. more. Um, I mean, we have music, you know, for everyone. You know, our, our genre is pretty much easy listening. Yeah. Um, a lot of rock and roll, a lot of old country. So. And you do a lot of covers, from right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we do. Uh, That's the majority of what you play. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. Um, Which, you know, people that go out to the bars and everything, you know, it's okay to throw this, you know, the... The original originals in there but and yeah we've, they, they want to hear they want to hear the um the covers yeah, yeah. oh yeah yeah absolutely yeah. that's what uh keeps them singing along and stuff and it's it's fun <laughs> and you dancing with however they're dancing yes, right <laughs> absolutely yeah you got to have the covers but um yeah i would say facebook is uh the place to go if you're looking for um the reviver stuff which we're going to be getting pretty busy here end of june so mm-hmm. okay um, take a look there and Instagram wise, my Instagram is just Brandon B R A N D E N dot Pavlo, and I kind of post some of a little bit of Todd and I. It's kind of half and half, half and half us, and then the other half is um, just little solo stuff I'll do, okay. little clips of songs. So 
Um, those are the two main ones. Okay. Instagram and Facebook. So. Y- you'll find them. <laughs> you'll find me. Yeah, you'll, you'll find you'll us. You'll find them, yeah, somewhere. Well, thanks for coming out. And, you know, do appreciate that. And yeah, absolutely. Sharing your music and stories. Good, yeah. st- good stuff there. I know a lot of people are, you know, I've had many artists on here that have been on The Voice. or um, mm-hmm. uh, I don't think I've had any American Idol. No? I may have one, but mostly The Voice for some reason. I don't okay. like keep connecting with those people. Yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, so good luck with that. Thank you. Uh, next Appreciate time, it. maybe I see you. Well, you know, we can say congratulations. Yes, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely hoping so. so Even yeah. though Adam Levine is no longer there, that uh, you said that would have been your coach. Yeah. I'm really bummed about that. But, a, yeah, that was yeah. a hard one. Yeah, tough, tough pill to swallow. But um, I'm sure, I'm sure he's out. Uh, you know, doing other. I think mm-hmm. he's on another show. There's some other. And, oh, uh, Songland. He's yeah. a producer of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's not so, on that show though. He's a producer I, there. I think he's just a executive producer. Okay. I could be wrong. I don't okay. know. Okay. Anyway. And I, I know Maroon yeah. Five's on tour and stuff like that yeah. too. So, yeah, yeah it's. Uh, I, I'm. You know, no matter who the judges are, it'd be <laughs> awesome to get up in front of yeah, any, any one of them. Yeah. If you can get to that point where you have to choose a judge. Yes. Hey, then I wouldn't worry about there it. There won't know. be complaining yeah. from me. I'll tell you that. I'm not going to be on the show because I didn't get Adam. <laughs> Adam's gone. Yeah, no. I, I can't. I can't audition. <laughs> no. Well, good luck with that. And, you know, we Thank hope you. that goes well with you and you get on to the to the main stage where yes. the, you've got the four judges. So. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate Go that. John Legend. John Legend. <laughs> he, would be a, he would be one. Oh, I would yeah. be happy, to yeah. be honest, team. He yeah. is a, he's an amazing musician. For so. sure. For sure. Well, thanks again, Brandon, for coming on the show. Do appreciate that. Yeah, and no good problem. luck with all that. You're going back to school, all your music stuff, the voice, mm-hmm. and uh, lots of stuff happening for you. So yes. Good for you. Absolutely. Good Busy you. time. Thanks for having me, though, yeah. Pam. I appreciate it. And um, guys, take good care of me, as always. So <laughs> yeah. I always appreciate it. Well, we got it. Ryan back there and Annie. They, yes, uh, they handle the uh, end, the back behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. And, yes, and thank, thank you. Thank goodness. Both. Thank you, guys. Yes, always absolutely. sound great. So, And thanks to all of you out there for watching. We do appreciate you uh, listening and tuning in today. Uh, And we'll do it again next time with another local musician and hear from them and hear some music and find out what they are up to. So, again, thanks so much for tuning in and watching us here from the beautiful Music Town Studios on the second floor of Hockey Town uh, with Behind the Mic. I'm Pam Rossi. Have a great week.